Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to round one of uh, the Blood Bowl Super League. Uh, this is Group B, and we're going to have six games. Uh, round one is against Jim and his Dwarves. I'll just quickly flash up the roster. And um, please pause the video if you want to watch it uh, and have a look at the team. That's that. Uh, our team is his typical Dark Elf tabletop team build, uh, which is that. And we'll dive straight into the match. Uh, whoops. There we go. Uh, I'm going to hand over to Zonk if you want to get someone else. Um, I'll occasionally read the chat, so uh, I'm going to take my headset off. As proved yesterday with yesterday's Blitz Pit, I can't do two things at once, which is play one minute turns talk. Um, so I'm just going to, I'll leave the webcam on, but um, I'm going to take the headset off. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks very much. Um, don't don't lose, because you'll be <laughs> insufferable. Yeah, so this, by the way, just for the rule set, uh, Clarity, um, is no overtime, um, and it's a league-style format, so... Uh, I think the top two or three would go through. Um, so, yeah, not losing is probably more important than definitely winning, um, I think. Um, so, yeah, no overtime. Just, I'm going to be playing not to lose, I guess. Um, anyway, over to you, Zunk. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. Best of luck. Right, let's have a bet up. Um, well, there's only one real bet that we're concerned with is um, will Andy beat Jimmy? So uh, have at it, predictors. Have at it. Hey, but good day. Montanias, hello. Happy Christmas, Santa. Oh, your first seed in Rebel. Nice work, Yatsi. I'm excited for my match. Um, I am Jay. It's much later, though. I think it's game three. Is it cheeky Jimmy versus Andy? No, no, Rochelle. It, it's the other Jimmy um, versus Andy. Um, so, some may say grudge match, but I wouldn't say that. No. Dear Nuffle, please let Andy not get completely diced because if he does, it's going to be insufferable for the rest of the stream. So... Please let him win. Please. Your humble servant. <sighs> Is it Jimmy Carr? It's the, yes, that's right. It's J Jimmy from, from the daytime stuff. Yes, that's quite right, Santa. Uh, Jack's got complete confidence in Andy and expects him to decimate this division. Uh, yeah, has anyone a slight drawback? Have you seen it, Jack? That it's basically, it's these Dark Elves that we're looking at right now um, against a Sea of Dwarf and Chorf. So it's uh, an Arian's Flings, Andy's Dark Elves, and almost everybody else's Dwarf. Which is um, it's not the best matchup if you're playing, uh, playing el uh, Elves, is it? Yes, Jimmy with Jimmy with the laugh. That's that's the one, Chamber. Yes, exactly. Look, I think I think most of you know who 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 Jimmy is. So yes, that that Jimmy. Yes, yes, that's right, Rochelle. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so Andy's receiving. Well, that's nice. That's a good start. So we'll be quite pleased with that. Um, Jimmy controversially has used. Um, my go-to uh, defence of the boat formation, um, which personally I like, um, comes under some criticism when I do it, uh, and Andy's commentating. Um, Masara says, do I think Andy can um, rustle Jimmy? I mean, Jimmy's a good player, but then so's Andy. So, look, with this, it's dwarfs for selves. Way, Hello, Andy and Zunk. Vork, Good evening and remain indoors. Sub, old boy. It's very kind of you. Psychological warfare. Yeah, it could be, Max. Okay, so Andy's retrieved the ball. That's a good start. He's now going to be desperate to try and do something to a dwarf here. That would be an absolute flyer. So, skill-wise, um, let's have a look at what both... Uh, and bear in mind, by the way, these are the skills that the teams will carry forever throughout the contest. So Andy's gone for three Blodge Blitzers, um, two Witch Elves, one with Block, one with Wrestle, uh, a Dodge Runner, 
So this is this is Andy's exactly the same actually as he used yesterday for Blitz Pit. Good day, Podiopsis. Uh, yeah, he, he should be here soon, mate. Um, Jimmy has gone for a pretty pretty good build there, in my view. He's got plenty of guard. Resisted the temptation to go ham on mighty blow, just the one. So he'll be doing the blitzing. That uh, young fellow, me chap on the uh, left there. We do have a troll slayer, vanilla, and um, we've got a, a a block runner. So that'll be the ball lad. So what Jimmy's going to want to do We're is inflict guard months. everywhere and make Andy dodge, which is what Andy doesn't want to do. So dizzy best, goodness me, five months. Thank you very much. Oh, sorry, Hellboy, I didn't notice. Uh, yes, one moment. Uno memento. Uh, la, 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 la. Um, hang on. Do, 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 do. Bear with, bear with, bear with. There we go. And Hellboy is now with us. Um, well, Hellboy, hello. 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 Are you well? I'm well. How are you? Fine, thank you. Hang on. Right, now I'm on push to talk. That's good. So what do you make of this, HB? Oh, it's going to be a 1-1 one -one draw. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. And uh... knowing, the mo knowing both the combatants, would they be happy with that? Uh, well, I think uh, the main thing is um, Andy never enjoys uh, playing versus dwarves. Um, Jones underscore pain shit. So X I think he's in the group of death as you alluded to earlier. Basically, Andy for him personally, Jimmy Dorf dwarves Tastic. aren't that great in NAF style. There's the one mighty blow in in uh, Jimmy's build here, and Andy's gone for the very standard dark elf build. I like this build. Yep, you've got one option at the runner or not. I personally now don't even take a runner when I play dark elves, but. Uh, he likes the pace. It's um, I'm yeah. joined today by a uh, friend of the show and admin extraordinaire, um, Hellboy, Polyopsis, and Jonesy, vielen Dank für das Bitzen. Ausgezeichnet. I'm not going to lie, taking 40 seconds on a turn, though, Andy, is uh, maybe not the best thing to do in a one-minute format. He often does that, though. Luxuriant, that was. It's it's a certain yeah. dominance. Indeed, a Polyopsis, it is, Hellboy. Hell no. That bar's woefully understaffed. So we've had quite a quite a lot of dwarfs getting knocked over so far. So Andy be pleased with his block dice. Not so much that hasn't achieved anything, but then does he expect it to? I'd venture not. Yeah, I mean we see Andy targeting there with his uh with his blitz. He targeted the uh the agility three. Uh, Blitzer, very important on the dwarves. Jimmy, Jimmy's built his dwarves pretty well. I don't, I personally don't like the block runner, but it's it's absolutely fine. You can take a mighty blow. You don't have to take a mighty blow, but the main thing is is that you've got the two guard on the two most mobile pieces. So you've got oh players rather. Sorry, Zunk. Sorry, I forget where I am. My immersion. They're, they're 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 pieces for me, but players for you. I know, I know. So yeah, so that's 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 the key really. So Andy going after those two guard is not surprising at all. No, no, I'm with you on that. They're, they're the they're the the key to Jimmy winning this is um, inflicting the guard everywhere and beating the beating the elves up. Um, I, I think Andy's he's going to struggle to do anything damage wise to the dwarves. He's got no damage output at all in this team. And I don't think he's going to try too much. He'll pay lip service, but I think his main thing um, now is can he get an early score on the board? Already we're seeing a scoring threat up there on the left flank. But do you know what my spidey senses tell me? I think that's a ruse. I think he's trying to drag Jimmy over the left well, side and then think, a, right? The, this, the, the, NAF, the NAF style of uh, the game, so you're not looking for SBP. You're just looking to win the game, really. Here, I'm surprised. I'm surprised Jimmy went on <coughs> defense first. Okay, mm. the reason being, I think that why he did it will have been because he didn't want Andy to go on defense. 
However, I think I would have been happy to uh, go on offense as the dwarves to try and uh, get some, to try and get some damage early because the dark elves do start to suffer when they go down two or three. You know, you can you can do some damage. Also, statistically, you're saying that Andy's got no no damage output. That's absolutely correct. You would expect to chip at least one dwarf though in the game yeah. at some point. So you know, if it comes now, that's great. Then he has to field the additional runner. Yeah, you know. The reason the reason I think Jimmy um, kicked is that often if you're the um, you're the fighty team versus an agility team, um, <coughs> your best your best shot at getting some damage early early on is when you're not also trying to protect the ball. So I, I think he's he's that will be in his, in his thinking perhaps. Oh yeah, I mean the the truth is this: it's not wrong to go on defense ever. No, much. you know, no. there's a uh, there's certain teams. I was I was talking to someone the other day about it. Someone said, "When would you go on um, offense first as lizards?" Mm. And I, the only time I do that is if I'm versus goblins. There is no other team I would go. I would actively choose. But just personally, I would actively choose to go uh, not on defense if I had the kick in a NAF format. Mm. And he's dodging, holding up, which is. Uh... Which is nice, and now this is interesting. So he's um, indeed done exactly as we guessed. It was a feint, and he's buggered off uh, down the right flank. And now there's a shame half, early. Half yeah. the dwarf team, half the dwarf team are out of it. He'll be disappointed to drop that dodge because it does mean that uh, the fellow on the left flank is going to get clonked. But it's position here. He's he, he's played for yeah. the. Uh, the other, the other thing is that although although the guy on the, the the far side can get hit as well, there is there's a surf there for everyone spotting it. But if you go for the surf, you probably lose the drive. Yeah. Yes. So this this from uh, Jimmy here is uh, is fine tagging with the tackle. Yeah, there we go. So there's no you know there's the surf available there, but he's committed the the minimum number of dwarves, and he's going to end up with uh, uh, two. Uh, two elves potentially on stuck on one dwarf, which is a great trade. Yeah, yeah. Mighty Blowfeller, of course, not blitzing this turn because he's. Uh, yeah, he'd be blitzing with the uh, with the Slayer to to bring him back to the center. Yes, I think you're correct. Do you think Andy'd be quite happy to score early? Uh, so okay, of course you've got the you've got the issue with the fact that dwarves are very slow, but still with two runners it is possible to two turn with dwarves and three turning is also entirely possible. Mm. So I don't I if you have to I think it's okay, but the the issue you have of course with uh, okay not blitzing with the slayer that seems uh, that's absolutely fine. The slayer action going to happen last. Um, the issue you have with giving dwarves two turns is actually the threat of the riot turning it into three. Mm. Well, that's something people forget. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Um, that's that. That's that's a shame because that's. Uh... Well, there's the apple. That's uh, absolutely uh, absolutely fine in a yeah. resolution format to use the apple on the first badly hurt. Yes, power apple. Quite right. Oh, he won't, he won't be. He won't be devastated about that. Apodiopsis, it's um, to be expected. Interesting. I would. I wasn't going to be too surprised if we'd seen actually seen a drop back there. This is uh, this is quite aggressive from Andy. I think he's going to mm. aim to get the stall down for the next uh, three turns deep in Jimmy's uh, half. Yep. Yes. And that he can get a screen in between him and that uh, him and that witch elf. And the runner, you really want the screen going uh, almost in the. You see how Jimmy's got the V shape on the pitch. You almost mm. want the screen to be going towards that left-hand part of the V. You know, you want it to get the screen diagonally as well to really shut down the access to the elves. Well, as it stands right now, my guess is Jimmy's going to blitz um, Montanas. The oh, a GFI. Oh. Old. Um, don't forget, of course, uh, elf fans, that this is a, a dark elf runner has dump off. So Jimmy will know that he'll mark up potential receivers before going for any blitz. Though I don't think he can actually hit the ball here. Realistically, he can certainly park himself 
next to it, which I think is probably what this is going to happen. Well, that's not good. That's that's possible. Oh, Reroll. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh no! no. I even I even said a prayer to oh. the at the start of the game, and obviously, uh, oh yeah. Notice, notice though, uh, from a from a, a strategic point of view as well. Notice how Jimmy's now drastically, rapidly running that troll slayer across the side of the pitch because Andy was quite safe to put those uh, to put those players two squares out, so yeah. they're not going to get surfed by the slayer because he was all the way over the other side of the pitch. So. Just, just to um, just to highlight how how awkward that injury was. That was a bodge blitzer as oh, well. So a yeah, blodge blitzer, MNG as well. So even if Andy had retained the apple, it's only a 50-50 that it comes back. Hey ho! Right. Why is there only one Slayer? Um, a Polyopsis. This is the uh, the best NAF uh, build you can make with dwarves. Basically, you you want the Slayer as um, the uh, the Blitz Magnet, um, for want of a, for, that's a family-friendly way of calling it. Um, so people target that Armour 8, but you don't want to be bringing the double Armour 8 because uh, you really only want the runner who's holding the ball and the Troll Slayer um, to be the only Armour 8 on the pitch. Uh, unless you're bringing a Death Roller, then uh, then this is really standard. This is what the, the top coaches bring. The, the the top tabletop dwarf coaches bring this, this exact roster because it fits perfectly. In Blood Bowl uh, 2016 uh, and uh, Blood Bowl 2, this uh, this fits exactly with the three re-rolls and Apo and 12 men. And you have two runners in case one of them dies. Uh, Asenth, thank you very much for the resub, by the way. Oh, lovely. Hi, Cheeky. Oh, straight dodge. Yeah, wow. bird, in, bird in the hand. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so... So Andy gets his line elf back. Okay. So he's got 10 elves to defend against. Um, I didn't... I wasn't sure he was going to do that, you know, because th this four turns to equalise. Yeah, mm. he, he, didn't, he didn't have a dog choice there, did he, Santa? He didn't have the choice. Dunk. And, and also, mm. with the being down a blitzer now, I think, although... Um, Although Jimmy's got four turns, you can also overstretch. Mm. You know, a deep kick here, ten elves is absolutely fine to defend with. And if Andy doesn't go one-one on the half, then it's pretty much nailed on draw because uh, you just yeah. can't give the elves two turns back or longer. No, and the, dwar the dwarves are not going to score twice in a half. Um, usually, unless they've got massive man up. Yeah. Interestingly, as well, that the uh, I quite like the fact that this uh, first round of this uh, Blood Bowl Super League has happened so quickly after the Blitzbit qualifiers yesterday, as both Jimmy and uh, Andy played in that. So they've both had a bit of time to become accustomed to the one minute format again. You know, Andy unfortunately only getting one game. Jimmy, I think, had two with these exact same rosters. They both brought the same roster that they played at Blitzbit. Mm -hmm. So that will, uh, you know, that gives them the advantage. As well to be back at oh Jimmy running with the two runners on the pitch now so he's definitely looking to maximise that uh, movement six and also very advanced very very yeah, advanced really really advanced really uh, really aggressive oh, oh my god wow well, wow. Well. Oh dear! Look at that kick, though. That's a three and eight going off the pitch. But there's a there's a one in eight for that being in the far corner, which is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Andy can Andy probably should. Um, I I don't like doing it, but I think you have to throw all your eggs into the basket and assume that it's going to be one of the five and eight, not yeah. the uh, not the three and eight. And you have to blitz down that. Uh, Blitz down that left hand side, or and and try and get feed at least two players through. Um, you're dodging against tackle though for some of it, but you can put the re-roll in. What do you th what do you think about what yeah. do you think about instead blitzing through the troll slayer? Yeah, I like the player dodge. Get the, 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 yeah, it's yeah. tougher dodgers, but there's no uh, you, you can do it without tackle. Uh, that's not ideal. Uh, clears it clears out of the way, and here's the. Uh, True, true, yeah, that's true. Oh, cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. 
Oh, my, 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 my. Somewhere somewhere in uh, the north of England, a mouse is getting smashed against the desk right now. Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> Who's a lucky Andy? Who's a lucky Andy? That's squeaky, that, wasn't it? That's and again. again. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Do we? <laughs> He's going to try the same through the middle, I think. Yeah, you have to. You have to be pumping these in. Yes, he's a hard one. Ah, oh. Well, that, that was better than he'd hoped. And the ball's oh, gone off. And three. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, oh but, but, no. But Jimmy handing off there. You see, I'm. I was tempted to possibly even give the ball to the... Uh, I was tempted to give the ball to the far right blitzer. Yes, me too. Exactly that. Fast. Got enough yeah, for equally, a bit of a screen. Equally mobile. Equally mobile. Mm. You bring the runner up. Interesting. Interesting. Jimmy choosing as well to kind of go into the pack a bit here. Bring That's... the fight and say, "Hey, I'm yeah. here to. I'm here to play." Yeah. But this is. Uh... Damn yeah. shame the ball went off the pitch, isn't it? That's that's yeah, but weird. I don't I think I think you had to play for that five and eight. I think you yeah. had to play for the five and eight because if that lands on the pitch, Jimmy's pretty much stuffed because you've got a witch that can surf the runner next turn. So yeah. oh Shamba, hello, hello. Good evening, good evening, everyone, one and all. Ooh, oh, woo, woo, woo! Lovely. Ooh. See, now this is this is not actually too bad right now. No. And with no re-roll, he needs to. Yeah, he was. I think his intention had been to um, maybe blitz with the uh, with the runner there instead of bringing that long beard across. But uh, mm -hmm. now. Although it's um, uphill, there is a way into the cage uh, without tackle. So it is a straight 55%. You can go through the blitzer. But you really wanted the Wrestle Witch to do it. So that's uh, that's been shut down now nicely by Jimmy. Mm. Now you see here, I think Andy can actually just get in the way. Yes, I agree. I and I think the, the, the he's going to uh, knock over the uh, that uh, guard uh, long beard that he's just next to there in the centre circle. That'll open up a smack on the troll slayer. Ah, hello. Oh dear. Ooh la la. Both of them now receiving the uh, the double skulls on back to back turns. Oh yes, indeed. Hello, Kibo. Gosh, I do like one minute blood bowl. Oh, it's just so nice and fast, isn't it? No, no waiting around. Refreshing. Come on, injure one, Andy. You need to pull one back here, kid. It's not going to move. Yep, they're starting to fall over. And as I said, Andy's just getting in the way. He's got that nice defensive line. Mm -hmm. Place now he's 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 got control even though uh even though jimmy's uh as as a unit with the dwarves which is what you want uh, yep. if you're playing dwarves you want to keep them in a unit like that troll drilled. that mm, that troll slayer though that's that's the opening there now isn't it but andy knows this so the follow is uh is acceptable you hmm. probably that's the opening there though yeah okay dodging back are you going to dodge the witch out I think he will, otherwise she's just going to get punched. Yeah, so. the ground the ground doesn't have mighty blow. Dodging away into a non-tackle tackle zone. Very sensible. And now she remains an irritant north of the ball. Really? Yep, nice nice little turn there from Andy. But I do think that that tr troll slayer is the uh, is the route forward. He can, Jimmy can probably get the spearhead because he can. he's got two free hits. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's nice. Does need to get a little bit of a move on though, because he it's turn six, and where he is right now, it would be fine on uh, fine on turn seven. But he's going to have to do some GFIs. Uh, yeah, he's he's going to have to hurtle forwards for sure. Um, I... The wrestle 
That's not which where she is now. I know she got stuck at the back, but that is not really where you want the wrestle witch. You really want the wrestle witch where the block witch is, and the and the block witch where the wrestle witch is. Now, I think this is partly due to the uh, due to the blitz, of course, where with that with that uh, kickoff result. But also, this is a factor of the one minute turns. I think if Andy had more time, he'd be you know if this was a a, a rebel or something equivalent with four minute turns, I think Andy would have taken a lot more time to think about where that witch was going to be positioned or where the, the pair were going to be positioned because really you want the scoring threat, which is that wrestle witch, to maybe be where the block witch is so that she can be relevant for the sack um, on turn seven or turn eight potentially. But where she is now, unless Andy's going to go through the back with the wrestle witch um, and push the runner forwards potentially, um, you really want the two swapped over because the that that's the that's the sack piece. Oh, Jimmy shuts down that uh, mm. that gateway anyway. Well, J Jimmy's Jimmy's looking at I'm 13 squares out with two two uh, turns left, so he's yeah. he's got to maintain maximum yeah. movement next here, turn. Here, so as... Yeah, here here Andy just needs to be really just getting a nice nice wide. Oh, lovely chain push! Oh no, what a shame! That was a lovely chain there. Oh, that was beautiful. That they had a lovely double chain there. Did you see it, Dunk? Yes. <laughs> it's just lovely. so slow for Andy. I know. He's oh, got what a shame. Oh, a podiopsis. I'm terribly sorry if you're listening now. Uh, the adverts have struck again. I told him about this advert business. Oh, oh I. You uh, won't listen, idiot. When, when you're in charge, Zunk, you can. Uh, you can have ad-free Zunk streaming. Uh, yes, uh, Sleep Talk. Yes, uh, the Dwarf Longbeard is a, uh, is a fantastic uh, player um, in the sense that, yes, they come with Tackle, Block, and Thick Skull, and Armor 9, and Strength 3. Yeah, just the, just the pace that's a slight drawback, but um, oh, yeah, you get yeah. so many of them, all with strength access. What you tend to see, th this is um, very standard dwarf, lots of guard, but a mighty blow. But as they develop, it just becomes a sea of guard and mighty blow and piling on. And <laughs> ah, sleep talk, new to new to blood bowl, fantastic. Well, you're joining at a brilliant time. You've come to one of the uh, one of the the top channels. Um, for for Blood Bowl content on Twitch, uh, Chub Step, you ha he hasn't come to the Shit, wrong. You know he's Chubbers, man. For God's sake! Honestly, that that marketing director job is hanging by a thread, Chub Step. Uh, oh, 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 the double GFI! Oh my God! I mean. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, well, he's he's, he's going to have to make more, and he's he's always full of overlook. He had to do the GFIs. He had to. Ooh, if that failed, there was a nice surf on there. Yes. Oh, but yeah, no, there's yeah. So uh, yeah, as I was saying, you've joined at a great time for Blood Bowl. We've just we're we're awaiting uh, Blood Bowl three. We're watching Blood Bowl two at the moment. We're awaiting Blood Bowl three. We've got the new tabletop rules out. Everyone's getting excited again. Loads of new people joining the community. Great content coming out on on loads of uh, loads of uh, Twitch channels at the moment. So find find Andy on YouTube. Uh, also recommend uh, friends of the show the uh, the Sage. Although he doesn't do so much Blood Bowl at the moment, uh, he's really dropped down on the amount. Um, and also, if you're watching on Twitch at the moment, uh, Rick Reckless, the most positive man in Blood Bowl. You've got to got to check out Rick. Big uh, big fan of that man. Very upbeat, very positive. Oh, very, very upbeat. And once you, once you got, once you've got your eye in a little bit more, there's also people like uh, Dionysian. Uh, also has a fantastic attitude towards Blood Bowl. Ooh, 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 oh, 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 wow! Ooh. Well, not critical that that square is filled in. Mr. Um, Page, also a very positive Blood Bowl streamer. Lots of, lots of uh, activity there as well. So. What does Andy do here? Oh, I love I love the Amazon Dwarf matchup though. 
Spader. The Amazon Wharf matchup on NAF style is so much fun. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I, I will play the Amazons any day of the week versus in a NAF style. When you when the dwarves get to 1400, then it does swing very hard. It does swing at that point. But at, at this team build, whoa, the Amazons have a huge movement advantage. Oh, love it. Second favorite team in Blood Bowl are Amazons for me. <laughs> Goodness me now, look at this. The dodging's holding up. Okay. Yeah, this is uh this is shaping up nicely. Andy looks like he's just gonna try and jam in, as it were. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. You really wanted a power on that first one because then you could leave the oh, oh dear. God. you can't I don't think you can re-roll that because you need the dodges no. to get it away. Now what this, break, Andy's got to be Andy's got to be careful. Fifteen seconds left. You don't want to leave a chain push on here. This is the problem with the one minute turn. Is is actually turns like this, we you really to need to, have to yeah exactly. You have to think. You might want to re-roll oh, that. Dear. That's got a, there's the re-roll. Oh, oh no! no. Oh no no no! I'm, I'm, I'd be curious. Again, it could just be a timing situation, but wow. that far left hand, um, Montahan, Montahas, Mont Mont yeah. Mont I don't know how to say his name. I think, I think he would have probably been a better dodge, in my opinion, actually. Yeah. Me, yes. Me stop. Easier, an easier dodge. Why, why is everyone? Why is everyone blaming me for this? I come in and I come in and commentate. It's not my fault. Every time I commentate, Andy loses. <sighs> Just coincidence. Nothing more. Montanas. 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 Ooh la la! That's gonna hurt. Brace yourself. Oh, wow. Is Jimmy going to do a a pass? Um, uh, oh, no, is he? What the? What the... you got to get a move on, Jimmy. Two seconds. Oh, no, he's not. He's just clearing the path. That's all right. Oh, you only blame me for liking zones. That's fine. Oh, my God. He's got to get a move on. Two seconds. One second. Double GFI as well here. Oh la la! Oh, oh, he makes it! Wow, dear. right on the cusp! Oh dear! Wow! Oh, wow! Dear. Right thing to do from Jimmy, but I, I feel for yeah. him that he's he, he, he was also Oof. doing the right kind of stuff. Jim, Jim, Jimmy's uh, Jimmy's uh, GFIs and stuff all fine and he's dodging this, you know this is this so is blood bowl isn't it this it is this it's the finest it's margins. Happens, yeah. yes yes exactly it's really small margins and that's you know we can we can we can maybe look back at some of uh on andy's drive as well and go well andy did give jimmy four turns back could he have got another stall did he have to push forward could he have dropped back into the midfield on mm. turn three or uh, when it was on, on turn three did he have to push forward? Could he have dropped back on turn three, reassessed, and really and gone for almost like a two-turn drive after that to only give Jimmy three turns or maybe two turns? So, you know. Well, we've also got uh, the, the slight uh, uphill struggle now that Andy faces. He's, he's, a, he's about to, uh, to kick to Jimmy, isn't he? Mm hmm Now, I think we'll probably see Andy being um, quite aggressive. Uh, I'm we could. I'm surprised Jimmy's quite so advanced as he is because he he doesn't really need to be. And if we get unlikely though it is a deep kick slash blitz situation, he's wide open to that. Yeah, but yeah, it didn't happen. I mean, he wasn't likely to, and it didn't. But you know, could have. No, def definitely. I think that the main the main thing we need to remember though guys is that this is uh one minute turns and if you haven't played it i've i've now played in two um splits pick qualifiers and Tense. my god your brain is fried about after the first 10 turns anyway it's yeah. it's blood bowl on on crack basically you are you are just you cannot stop to think 
So, so these li these micro errors that we're seeing. So, you know, Jimmy leaving himself multiple GFIs wouldn't happen if this was on two or three minute turns. I don't think because you are um, because you're able to count a bit more, but you can't even waste time counting squares. No, you play by gut feel, don't you? It yeah. looks about X squares. Flibble's resubbed. Thank you, Mister Flibble. Three. What a now. lovely name. I feel like doing a, a Rowan Atkinson fl flibble. Flibble. Is Mrs. Mr. Flibble Mr. with us at all? Mrs. Mr. Flibble. What a great name. What a great name. Flibble. We can enjoy saying that for a bit. Uh, maybe that can be the may, may, may that maybe that can be the maybe that can be the new expression when something goes wrong. Oh flibble. There we go. Put into well, practice. They, they, immediately. I think just thought that, See? isn't he? Yeah, exactly. The family-friendly version of uh... so down to nine elves. This is and and another blitzer gone. The, the the issue being not that uh, the dodge skill on the blitzer. It's actually the block, because now Andy's only got two block pieces and one wrestle. Uh, also, players only two block players and one wrestle player left at the moment. Yes. How difficult is it for Davo to break this cage? So the main issue with uh, cage diving, as we call it, is the guard. Mm. So it's not so much the, the getting into the cage, because it's a 55% uh, dodge in, but Andy can't really get round this turn. And next turn, you would imagine there will be two tackle and two guard on the corners from Jimmy. To, to make a cage really hard to break into for elves, um, Jimmy, Jimmy will need to position... Um, exactly as Hellboy says, guard tackle players on opposite corners of the cage. And that gives you the full 360-degree coverage of whatever you do, tackle and guard are going to be involved. Um, now, in the time available, will Jimmy manage to incorporate that into his cage? Um, uh, first of all, first of all uh, or lock him with a fantastic Johnny Cash reference there. So, uh... Oh, yes, very good. Um, but then also, I like the fact that Andy's kept those two Dark Elves lying on the floor. This is a tactic that, again, you see it a lot in the uh, oh, Army Builder with the resubscription. Oh, hello. Good evening, Jen. Okay. So you Hope see, the you games see, do you go notice well. now that those I'm two guards tackled BBQ ING. Factors we were just discussing there. Yeah, exactly. But what what I was what I was going to say before uh, Army Builder hit the resub, so um, was that the I like the fact that Andy's left the two Dark Elf linemen on the floor. This is a tactic you see a lot versus dwarves when you're something like Amazons, for example. You don't actually need to stand the players up. You can leave them lying on the floor, and Jimmy can't move forward through that section of the pitch. You see, so He's now gone around it as we exactly. see here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they're like a speed bump, aren't they? And Jimmy yeah, exactly. Is, you know, exactly. You know, a, a really low kind of front end. Goodness me, Jay, with a, a gift sub there. Thank you very much indeed, Jay. Very kind of you. Running away with uh, this this month's gift subs, top of the chart there. Thank you, Jay. Very kind. Dude, Reno, you've you've heard that before. I, I can't think. I can't think where. I can't think where. <laughs> Andy thanking uh, Jay there for this, the uh, Serban Army Builder also. Lovely. So. Was that, the was that the pressure cooker going or something? What happened there? That was a, that was a very long s from you, Zunk. That was a exas exasperated. Oh. oh, dear, 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 dear. We need to, we really need to see the, uh, we need to see a dwarf get chipped here. We really need. We really need that. That that once. Uh, once a game. Uh, guard fella, yeah. yeah. Yep. And he's down. Good. You know he'll move the mighty blow lad out the way, so he's no yep. longer next to the, to the witch. Okay. Good. Yep. No, really nice. Uh, this is this is where this is where Andy's. Uh, this is where Andy's. Um. You know, I know, I know. He bangs on about looking for T shapes, shapes, looking for squares, etc. But actually, this is where, when your when your eye has been, when you've practiced and practiced and practiced on those long turns, a four minute turn, a three minute turn, you've looked for those shapes. You look for those shapes. You just start seeing them in the one minute format, 
And that's why Andy's able to still do nice little chain pushes like that and spot those things so quickly is because he's just honed those skills. So nice to see from Andy that he's able to do that even at the one minute, one minute uh, speed. Muscle memory. Wax yep. on, wax off, isn't it? Okay. Ah, now the door's getting quite bold with a we're going to base you up, do something about it. Yep. Not, not surprising. Yeah, pushing pushing forward here. Looks, I mean, you know, right now, Jimmy's pretty much... Uh, in control he's in the driving seat he's got he's got he's got a nice cage that can just keep keep trundling forward the question will be can andy get a stun or a removal um on a critical turn and can he just slow jimmy down to get the draw because i don't i hate to say it but i don't think andy's winning this game right now and i don't i think andy knows that as well i think he knows that it's at best a draw right now mm. yes i i, I concur Hmm. I think you're blitzing. I think you're blitzing the mighty blow, uh, dwarf, and then dropping everything back a little bit and getting some dodges out. And I would even be tempted if one of the dodges failed early to re-roll it this turn. Yep, as you predicted. Yep. Mighty Blow fella being the target. Not only because he it's not specifically because he's got Mighty Blow, but he's one of the most advanced dwarfs. Oh yes. Yeah, definitely. And so what, what Andy is, is is trying to do is is sort of imagine the elves are there with a broomstick trying to stop a rhino getting at their um, salad. It, it's basically it's that scenario, isn't it? Uh, sleep talk. Yes, definitely. There is an opportunity. There's there's always an option for the uh, for the the uphill, the red dice uh, uphill block always but you probably want to go in with a wrestle piece uh or player sorry wrestle wrestle player now you see i think i'd re-roll that oh disaster see i think i think I, again this is the one minute format playing tricks on your mind you've only got 10 seconds you know i think that could have been a a re-roll that one there i know it's all hindsight etc you know oh wouldn't have been maybe not ko'd you know but I do. I do wonder whether that should have been a should have been a reroll there. He's running out of elves as well. Mm -hmm. And now he's having the armor seven targeted by. Uh... Yeah, this is the problem. Uh, Jimmy's yeah. got around the right hand side. You're going to see the dwarves flood southeast right now. Oh yes, yeah. And this, I mean, even <laughs> with that stun there, that's. That's kind of the nail in the coffin. Oh, although Jimmy not advancing, not as far as I expected. No, I I was expecting a little bit more advancing, but actually Jimmy's looked at the turn counter probably and realised he's still got five turns. But that said, Andy might be able to uh, to engineer some uh, some players to drop round and form a. Oh well, if he had. He's not Made lucky, is he? Well, it's it's <laughs> it's 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 not great, is it? I'm, you know, I I would I still hold out hope that there'll be that uh, that one dwarf removal, uh, but um, <laughs> three. But, but we could have we could have done with it a, a couple of turns ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Jimmy, the Jimmy nail. Yes, not not what you want to see, is it? Okay, so that's that's the blitzer moved out the way. Okay, now where's Matey Lad going? And now you absolutely have to put the re-roll in to get that lineman out on the you you're doing the three two. You actually have to after after this dodge here, the one that's on the floor now, I think you have to do the three two. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I quite like that dodge out there. Uh, Andy going with more the philosophy I think you were talking about previously that he's doing some work just by simply yeah. being there, but he is a little bit surrounded. So, 
I just don't see. I mean, I think I think Andy's going to have to go in for the cage dive, right? I think he's just going to have to have to yeah. try and get the. Uh, and not if you go, he's not going to. He's not going to have elves left to stop the advance, and no. particularly now, Jimmy's going to set up. He's, he's going to be several paces forward on the uh, right flank now. Yeah, I think the other, the other, the other thing to remember is that the witches do have frenzy, so you do have two bites at the cherry of the. Um, of the red dice as well. well. She, she's she's about to get thumped. Um, I I think. Yeah. And Jimmy, they're protecting the other side. You see, I really like that. That's that's really nice positioning from that. Oh, okay. Blitzing with the Slayer. Okay. Well, hopefully oh, okay. he fills in that corner as well. Um, because if you fill in that corner, then um, then you've got a double double screen on that side. Oh, she's made it. That was nice. Yeah, that's that's very useful. That well, very... Jimmy did everything he could there. That he, that the direction of the shows he set up the third uh, the third block, but uh, it was not to be. But uh, right idea just didn't work. Yeah, you see, I love that. I love that square where that runner's gone at the end. That's a really really yeah. good square because now it's a double dodge to get into the ca into the cage through tackle whichever way Andy went so that's that shut that that side down completely that oh, blitzer no. on the that blitzer on the far um <clears throat> far left is going to get stranded though which is quite nice Andy can uh, dodge away from that at the end and get, get that stranded Tom the owl suggesting uh, Jimmy might have time to do a foul it is an option, but I think when you're this dominant, I don't think the foul is actually needed. No, he doesn't. I don't think he needs it. Okay, this is good. Get, just just having a couple of dwarves on the floor might make a, a bit of a difference here. Well, it, it, it slows them down so much. That Two into they one. The feet. Uh-oh. Two into one. One dice here. Dirty. Oh, Whoa. Who's a lucky away with it. Who's a lucky Andy? Andy. Stunned. Oh and my the goodness! Stun. Oh, could this could this be that that turn that I was hoping for? I wonder where you put that line elf then. 20, 20 seconds to think about it. I'm wondering if you put it um, two squares up from the lino in the middle. Okay, basing. Okay, I think that area of the pitch is the right place for it to be because it stops that shift um, left. I don't think you needed to base it though. I, I'd be interested to to wonder why Andy based that. I I think because with the stunned dwarf and the out of position blitz on the left, Andy's using this to try and leave a bit of a numerical superiority where it counts, and it just mm. takes that long beard out. But it's yeah, it's just, you could you could do it either way, couldn't you? Yeah, nice nice and exciting now though. Yeah, yes. we're gonna get, gonna see. Okay, pushing forward. This could be the turn for the uh, for the cage dive. I think you cage dive to try and surf. Yeah. Although it is a six plus, unless you can remove. Um, yeah, that, that's a that, that's a tough cage dive, isn't it? It is, but I think you can make it the five. I think you can make it a five plus. Ooh la la! Ooh. Oh, squeaks that one. Ah, uh, and now here comes the foul. Shame. This looks this looks pretty bleak. Um, I think you probably have to one d one d the the long beard with the blitzer, one d a uh, two into two d if you knock him down with the. Uh, that you can chain push the troll slayer there, you and could. then you cage dive. You then could. you cage dive with the witch and surf the runner and and the troll slayer at the same time. Yeah. But this is this is this is hard on on a one minute turn. This is really really hard, and you've got no spare elves to do anything with. I think it's all or nothing here. You probably need to block the path a little bit. That's not what you want. First action. Come on. Oh no! It's all over. 
Oh, well, that's just what a, a shame. Isn't it? That's what it. a shame. Horrible turn that one, but no. Well, I mean, credit to Jimmy. You know, he he got the he got that score in the in on Andy's drive, and he really uh, he was really able to to leverage that one. The finest of margins, and yeah, I mean, Jim, Jimmy's played pretty solid. I think not not any major blunders at all. Well, but I mean, there's still, there's still a shot here, isn't there? You know, you've still got the dodge in, so you've still got a two dice uphill on the the runner. It's not it's not over, but it is uh, it is looking bleak. Yeah, but yeah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I it's, bor it's borderline done, so I thought I'd come back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, obviously, yeah. you know. Shame that was it going to be? Was it going to be the the drop the runner in, drop the lineman in, then one D one D into possible two D or one D again? Push the troll slayer in, surf the troll slayer as you surf the runner, and uh, draw the game. Yep, yep. I've had. I, I think. I think. Um, the blue guys have been relatively all right, um, but fuck me, everything else has gone wrong. Um, oh, there we go. There's a. Ooh. Yeah. Right. Focus here. You might, yeah. Hmm. I think this isn't as good as it looks like it's going to be. Yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not as good as it looks. Um, if one of those three players there was a witch, we'd be fine. Hmm. Yeah, if one of those players there was the witch, we could do stuff. Or if I had two blitzes, we could do stuff. Um, unfortunately, neither of those things are true. Why did I stop that one? Here we go. She's in. <laughs> oh. I want to re-roll that, mate. I'll re-roll that. Yeah, I think we'll get that. Yeah, you might want to re-roll that, mate. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, Could dear. From ruined to not ruined. Um, Back to ruined again. Yeah. Fairly ruined. <laughs> ruined again. It's and still the fact it worked at all in the first place was impressive. Ruined. Oh. <laughs> and ruined again. Not totally ruined. It's it's less ruined than it was, you know. Well, yes, yes, that's very true. Oh no, it's ruined again. Uh, yes, and completely it's ruined completely now. Ruined In fact, again. That, that's <laughs> awful. Yeah, that's here. Have a free win. If you're gonna if you're gonna roll a if you're gonna oh, roll a six, yeah. now's the time to do it. Ca I'll catch I, it. I think I think my armor dice have been shit. Utter shite, by the way. Losing four players all to the floor. I avoided him. He blitzed me, I think, twice in this first half with Mighty Blow. And yet, I've still lost a horrendous amount of players. There um, we go. Yeah, um, so, it, now, now, is, now is the time to type burning hell. I mean, uh, congratulations. <laughs> well <done. laughs> or G, G, yeah. go, with, go with GG. Get your next time. Smile. Something like that. Or oh, can, can, can you one-turn him? <laughs> No, no, no. He'll not. He'll not set up and let me. I've got no guard. Um, I think the combo of what one minute turns with dwar dwar the only team I find hard work at tabletop are dwarves, um, and everything else is fine. But no, nah, dwarves mm. is just too hard work because there's no guard, so you you just can't you can't generate one turn out of this. Anyway, well, we'll try, but I don't think it'll. Happen. Yep, Rocky. <laughs> Cheek, Cheeky's going with the... He predicts a riot, Andy. Mm -hmm. You never know. Is it dwarves next week? It's dwarves every week, Army Builder. Have you seen the division? It's every week, dwarves. Yeah. Pretty much. Right. Uh, Lod Lod's fearing a perfect defence cropping up. Well, that, that would ruin it, yes, for sure. Mm. Um, the other thing that we would, put, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let you play. We'll discuss right. afterwards. <laughs> well, we both had one. To be fair, the the other thing that I thought was was really amusing was the blitz. So I get a blitz and a touchback. Um, 
Yeah, well, I was sort of about to say it was. Uh, we we agreed that we needed to push forwards for the five in eight chance it stay on the pitch, and then it didn't. So it was like, yeah. Well, that that was your that was your golden golden chance to snatch the the win um, really early on, and yeah. it didn't happen. Oh, I'm sorry, my internet tanked. So, oh, okay. so I've just seen yes. Huh? Oh, for God's sake. Right, what was the end result? I missed it completely. Um, I don't know, yeah. It's it's gonna I'm gonna be a two one lie. He's just got a blitz on my one turn attempt. Yeah. Oh what's so it's it's all over. So oh, I can do okay. the prediction. They tink it's all over at his now. There we go. Hardline sunshine. Um Thanks very much. Played 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 quite well for you actually. But um, we, we, we also, we also we, um, d- 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 complete complete credit where it's due to Jimmy. Also played um, very solidly. No 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 glaring sort of oh no what's he doing here any of that kind of stuff. Um, very steady. Um, didn't really go wrong for him. Yeah. So no, didn't. never mind. Maybe next time. <laughs> Please maybe next time. Absolutely. Um, I was, I was, I was also. Someone in chat noticed my reaction. I was very surprised with the armor breaks. I know I got one on the line of scrimmage. I got one on turn fifteen, and I think, that, well, according to this stat here, there was one other one, um, which was quite surprising, um, from my 30, 31 blocks. Hmm. Just a bizarre game. Dwarves are so much pain. They're so painful. They're so painful. I wish yeah, I'd taken a wrestle on a runner. Well, the other the other thing the other thing is as well is that you've got to you've got to remember it's one minute turns, you know there were some moments there where I think you know uh, I think both of you put pe- put players in the wrong squares a couple of times yes. and it's simply yeah. just because you've got one minute with I'm three minutes you know I think I think you, I terrible. said at one point in the in the video I think you got the witches the wrong way round at one at one moment and in a three minute turn you wouldn't have done that. Yeah, you know? yeah, I, I completely agree with that. There was there was a number of times I went, oh bollocks, that was a, a fail. I think there was one where I lost a, either I lost it or he failed. It was a bludging blitzer where my runner made a go for it because I just went click click um, on about turn four, um, yeah. and I made a go for it. Didn't roll the one. Then my next action was a one, yeah. and I couldn't re-roll it because it was running away from tackle. And it was little things like that that then led to the troll slayer killing a lineman, which then. It, it actually does make a difference. You just don't see it at the time. Um, and I did oh, yeah, yeah. Big bollocks. But, oh, well. Oh, yeah. Jimmy did, mm-hmm. did play well, I thought. Like, um, woe, woe is me and all that, but I think he did He did play well. Um, and I don't think Dark Elves suit me at one minute in this sort of environment. But who's, up, who's, up, who's, your, who's your next round? Have a little look oh. ahead to the next round. That's a good, good question. Dwarfs. Schedule. <laughs> it will be dwarfs. Um, BBSL mid tier basher. Uh, that'll be elves of some description then, surely. Uh, um, oh, it's calcium. Calcium, calcium is humans. Cal- oh, not dwarves. Um, no. It's, I, th- I think this, of all the human teams, I think this is the one that I, I like the build of probably the most um, in terms well, of its effectiveness. The, the, interest, the interesting thing with, with the humans on Blood Bowl 2 is the double, because um, you mm. could put the double as a guard on a catcher. Um, which which you wouldn't do on uh, tabletop because they're armor seven, but on yeah. uh, blood bowl two they're armor eight. So actually, guard on the catcher becomes very very viable. That's the only that's the only questionable thing about it, is the block on the ogre or guard on a catcher. Yeah, and uh, I agree. I, I, I you, and you can go either way, and you can say, well, oh yeah, block ogre is great because now it's other than the bonehead, it's basically solid. Um, or you can go guard on the catcher because four guard, as we just watched. Fucking hell, that's hard work to play around. Um, really, really hard to play around, even in, especially in one minute. And I actually think if I could rebuild the team, um, I think I would build more... Like, six guard would be super de- super dangerous because it's not about removals. It's about pitch control, and guard is pitch control. Oh, fuck, that's hard work. Anyway. Right, congratulations right. Ca- um, to, uh, to Jimmy. 